down, guys. Stop. 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 Cheering. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh god. Sorry. Let me just get my reference text. Ulysses. Uh, I've been lugging it around all day. I can't put it down. It's just so good. Uh, let me get my list of favorite quotes here. Okay. So uh, my name is. Kira Berkeley, it's great to be back at the Phil. Uh, you may remember me from such comedy Phil debates as this house believes that size doesn't matter. I was obviously on the proposition. I talked about dick for eight and a half minutes. Uh, despite that, my team lost. Well, no, it's not fair to say my team, because they weren't like my team. I don't take responsibility for how shit they were. I was actually. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's great to be back. I believe I've been invited to speak at this uh, debate. But in the same respect of these professors, I consider myself a professor of life! Uh, as you could probably guess from the enriched and sprightly demeanor with which I carry myself. Uh, I'm obviously an arts block student. I don't need to patronize you by telling that fact. You could just look at my bangs. Uh, I cut them myself, that's why they look like this. Uh, I'm sort of, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna just give you an insight to what it's really like, the real life of being a, an arts block stu student. Uh, so I'm sort of a vanguard for that area, I'd say. I run my own uh, Trinity's Only uh, improv comedy group. Uh, thank you, Gabby. She's also in it. I, uh, I told her to do that next show on Halloween, so please come. Uh, I also I hang around Players Theatre a lot, not because I care much about the theatre that goes on there, but because whenever a play is trying to raise money, they do a bake sale, and if some of the cakes don't sell, they send them to front of house at the end of the day. So I like to go there and gorge in silence with the other lonely people in that room. Uh, I know I stink of an arts box student because I was actually in an episode of Sally Rooney's Normal People. So, oh, <laughs> sorry, I've got hold for applause here. That's uh, <laughs> no one's gonna want to film a TV show about the Hamilton with your fucking anal beads statue outside. Uh, now I know I'm slagging off arts students loads, but I'm kind of on a roll, so I'm gonna continue. Uh, I've heard that analogies tend to do very well at uh, Phil's speeches, so I'm going to do my best. Let's be frank, arts degrees aren't real. I'm going to be the first to say it. Uh, I, I emailed my, uh, my lecturer for an English module the other day uh, on a module that's called Walking. <laughs> I don't know what it is either. It was either that or Handling Shakespeare, which isn't actually Handling Shakespeare, it's about handling books of Shakespearean texts. You do a whole lecture of, you know what, fuck it, I don't even care. Uh, so these next four years are kind of preparing me for a lot of like unemployment, yet still turning me into a very cocky, uh, self-entitled prick with uh, no real clout or fundamental personality features. Uh, so anyway, as the analogy goes, uh, I emailed my uh, lecturer for this module and I told him, I'm not gonna be able to make the seminar because I have to hold auditions for my improv group. The most pretentious thing I've ever done, except the second one of these speeches. Uh, and uh, I was like, okay, this is really bad. You're not meant to miss compulsory classes for something essentially pointless like improv. So I was apologizing profusely. You know, I'm so sorry. Please don't let me out of it. Uh, I kind of figured that he might be okay with it because he's, you know, American. He's from Dartmouth. So I was like, oh, you make like improv. He loved improv, and he emailed me back being like, okay, well, obviously you know the basic tenet of uh, improv, which is yes and, uh, and he was like. Let's apply the principle of yes and here. Uh, yes, you may miss your seminar, and no, you will not be marked absent. Uh, it was, at first, I was like, ah! But then it was also really depressing to find someone more keen about improv than I was. Um, and then at the end, he was like, anything for comedy. Uh, and he kept repeating this as I came into the lecture of anything for comedy. Uh, and then as I was leaving, he was all like, um, are you going to use any of this like material in your improv? I actually said something really funny back. It was like, um, no, because then it would be rehearsed, it would be... It was, actually, it was actually really funny, you just had to be there. But anyway, we were all like, <laughs> And I was thinking, what the fuck is my degree? If, like, my tutor for... Who was going to be marking on a grade which actually counts towards the end of my degree is not only permitting me to miss it, but encouraging me to miss it. Like, anything for comedy, he clearly has as low self-esteem as I do. Uh, I, you know, I can't really talk, I do these debates that people think I'm interesting and maybe like me. But uh, basically, what I'm basically trying to say, honesty is the best policy, okay? So it's nice to finally, you know, I'm not going to try and slag, I actually did, actually, I did try to come up with good slags for the Hamilton, but I couldn't come up with anything that you hadn't already heard before. Nerd? No, that's what I thought. Like, you definitely, definitely heard that before. Uh, it was... It, this speech was actually hard. Like, you guys are probably immunized to any kind of weird confrontation with your compulsory social skills lessons. Uh, <laughs> like, 
your new building might be nice, but it's basically the buttery with perch cafe lighting, so don't get excited about it, okay? Uh, I think the best thing I can probably do is just try and draw on some like qualities of character uh, comparisons. Oh, that's big words for me. Because, uh, you know, I obviously like uh, similes because I study English and I think words are great. Uh, so, let's just, okay, let's just think about this for a minute. Arts block people would probably order coffee, like a, a, an almond, no, not, al yeah, I was going to say oat actually because uh, almonds and uh, cashews are causing famine in Africa and lots of gang violence because they're worth their weight in gold now, so we're farming them too much, yeah. Uh, so I, I learned about this rather than fucking walking, you know what I mean? Uh, so I wanted like an oat flat white, whereas someone in Hamilton may be probably a large full fat milk Costa latte with like six sugars, but they're not even stirring. Uh, I mean, it would be art spot people have learned to appreciate the brilliance of old Simpsons episodes, whereas Hamilton people still think that post 2007 episodes are funny. It's kind of like, thank you, uh, Ratatouille versus Flushed Away, <laughs> Happy Feet versus Surf's Up. Anyone remember that film? <laughs> <laughs> Always Sunny, season one to four. Always Sunny, even after Dennis leaves. Uh, let's look at porn for a second, okay? Uh, uh, Hamilton, uh, college frat dudes, bukkake, cheerleading team. <laughs> Whereas we'd be all like, European cinema, art house, hentai. <laughs> by a short de documentary on Osaka's aging population, <laughs> followed by old and young. Uh, and so basically, what I'm trying to say here with you guys, uh, I didn't read my speech before I even came up here. I didn't read Ulysses. I didn't even read fucking normal people. Uh, but I think it would be nice for honest arts block students to just admit we're kind of just not as shit as you guys, but almost just a little bit less shit. Deserve a place on that life raft. Maybe you could listen to me read Ulysses for the first time uh, in our dying minutes or my very old, tattered, yet also never read copy of Susan Sontag's On Photography. Uh, I basically, at the end of my speech, I wrote, what I'm trying to say here is, and then just printed the document because I had nothing else to say. Um, but I just want you to think about that for a, okay, thank you. Uh, I wanted you to think about that for a little minute. Just feel, feel sympathy. Let's not slag each other. It's not a close competition. Okay? <laughs>